video just to kind of chat today. Um, yesterday I posted, I don't know how the lighting is with the windows behind me, I apologize. <laughs> I was trying to get the boys in the video too as much as I could. Um, I got Grant here on the couch uh, with me. I got Kitten behind me sleeping. Um, yeah, I was going to say, hopefully he's not cleaning his rear end, you know what I mean? He's sleeping. <laughs> um, so I wanted to talk about the posts I posted on my Facebook, my Instagram, and my um, YouTube community page. Um, I posted that in the next couple weeks, which could turn into a month or two, <laughs> um, because I'm a procrastinator, I was going to um, delete my Schnauzer Mom Facebook page and my Schnauzer Mom Instagram page. And um, I really didn't go into it much further. I was just kind of trying to give a heads up. Well, that led to a lot of comments on all three of my posts, Instagram, Facebook, and my community page. Two people um, try, coming to their own conclusions of why I was getting rid of my Facebook and my Instagram accounts. And I couldn't believe some of the hate-filled comments, the instant judgment of myself, um, the name-calling. Um, it's a sad world we live in today that just me putting that I'm going to delete this couple of social media accounts on my Schnauzer Mom, for my Schnauzer Mom YouTube channel, that it went to instant hate and judgment of me. And that's very sad um, that the world has come to this. Uh, the reason why I'm deleting my Schnauzer Mom Facebook page and Instagram is because at the um, end of December, beginning of the year, I decided that I need to do some things in my life to simplify my life, to make things easier for me. I'm no youngster. I, I, I'm not old. I don't consider myself old, but I'm no young chicken anymore. I'm going to be 50 years old uh, February 17th. And um, I'm just trying to make some things a little easier in my life um, so I can enjoy my life more, enjoy the time with my boys more, instead of constantly having to clean and, and take care of things and do this and that. I, I, wanna, I wanna simplify things. And if you remember in my last, um, one of my last videos, I mentioned how I was switching up the boys um, feeding schedule because I was feeding them three times a day. I had also mentioned I stopped cooking for the boys um, since two of my boys have to have special prescription food um, that I had stopped cooking as well for the boys. That I changed that up. You can't see Max but he's rolling on his back over here and he's hilarious. <laughs> um, so I also wanted to, that I was mixing the boys' food, uh, the ones that weren't on prescription food, I was also mixing it. I've stopped that. Um, and I've changed feeding them three times a day to two times a day, just to make things a little easier on myself and give me more time during the day to do things that I enjoy. Um, so I started thinking, how can I simplify my social media? Um, especially for my for my schnauzer mom uh, pages and I thought why don't I just put just have everything in one spot my YouTube channel because there's a community page for I don't know it's, if it's every channel if you've got to have so many subscribers or what but you have a community page where you can post kind of like you do on um, Facebook um, you can post photos um, messages to keep people up to date on what's going on on your channel or for my case, what's going on with my boys. Um, so I thought, why don't I just condense it all, just keep it all right there on YouTube um, and just get rid of the other social media as well because I was having messages everywhere, comments everywhere, and it was hard to keep up on things. And sometimes Facebook would notify me if someone posted on the um, like visitor site on my page. So I wasn't seeing comments and I thought, I'm not doing a good job at this. I, I've got to find an easier way to keep on top of things. 
plus keep on top of things in my own normal life. <laughs> and I thought this would help me. So I wanted to give everybody a heads up on what I was doing. So I didn't want to just delete the pages and everybody wonder what happened. So I thought I'm going to give you a heads up. And, what, and why it's going to take me so long to even delete them is because I need to go on there and get all the photos I don't already have saved. I need to go through all of them and save them onto my iCloud or Google Drive. I have both. Um, I need to save those and then eventually get them on a flash drive too so I have backup of them. Um, so it could take me a long time to even close these accounts. So this had nothing to do with politics, which a lot of you wanted to make it about. And that's what makes me so upset. I was so upset last night. <laughs> so upset. I barely slept. Um, and then I woke up this morning to chaos in the house. Um, I'll go into that in a minute. But So I just wanted to let you guys know, this has nothing to do with politics. My pages could be up for a while, but I'm not, I've already stopped kind of posting on them anyways, because it was just too much to, um, keep up with. So you probably have already noticed that, especially Instagram, I really haven't been posting on Facebook or Instagram that much, as much as I used to anyways. So, um, so yeah, this had nothing to do with politics. It was my bad timing, I guess, to announce it when I did which made everybody, a lot of people's minds go that way. Um, whether they were positive or negative, that's not what it's about. This is about me and my life, Simplimi simplifying my life, my mind. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is just what I wanna do this year. And I apologize if anybody's upset that I'm doing this, but you can make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, make sure you click all so you get any kind of notification when I post anything, um, you can go to our Schnauzer Mom page, scroll, I think it's on the top, you scroll and hit the community page, you'll see my post of photos, my post of comments about anything going on. Um, I'm hoping this will also make it easier for me to post more videos. Um, so I'm not having to do all the other stuff too. So. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to clear that up. <laughs> I was so upset last night that people thought I was this horrible person just because I wanted to get rid of some social media. So, um, wanted to clear that up. So yes, I woke up this morning, thought this is going to be a great day. I'm going to put all the negativity behind me. We're going to have a great day. I was going to film a totally different video <laughs> than what I'm filming right now. Um, and my daughter, I got the boys fed, I was cleaning, getting the dishes done, getting my laundry finished, because I wanted to start grooming the boys today, which that I've been, that's been totally thrown off for today, so I'm going to start that tomorrow. Um, and she yelled, she's like, Mom, oh my God, and I thought, that's the, that's the sound she makes and what she says whenever she sees a bug. <laughs> I thought, what? Is there a spider? What's going on? She's like, there's poop in the hallway. Oh my God, it smells terrible. So there was poop in the hallway, um, didn't know who did it, but it kind of, and I know this is gross to talk about, but when you pick up poop every day and see who's pooping where and this and that, you kind of get to know their poops, the sizes, the, the way they look. I know that's totally gross, <laughs> TMI, but it looked like rants. Well, so I cleaned that up, went about doing what I was doing out here and then, um, went in the bedroom to make my bed and um, kept thinking, man, why is the smell of that poop not going away? Do I need to open some windows? Um, so uh, before all this happened, I had to clean up some puke. Mickey puked a little bit in his crate, so totally forgot about that. I had cleaned that up before the whole, my daughter yelling there was poop in the hallway. So I had already cleaned up puke in Mickey's cage. So when I was in the bedroom, I thought, is it still, is it smell from the puke? What is it? But it smells like poop. So I'm looking around and Grant's in his cage and he's laying on a massive pile of poop in his cage. Um, I don't know when he did it. Uh, it couldn't have been this morning when my husband was up for work or when I got up because I should, would have smelled that unless when he was laying on it, I didn't, I don't know. So I instantly, I coaxed him out of his crate. He did not want to come out, which I think is so weird that he even went in his crate with poop in there because my boys 
if anything's in their crate, like if they puke up a little or something's weird in the crate, they won't go back in there. And that's how I'll know sometimes if they've thrown up or whatever. Um, so I thought it was so weird that he was in there laying on it. So that makes me wonder, um, with him wanting to be in his crate all the time and him actually even going in there when there was poop in there and laying on it, was he kept in a crate like most of the day? I don't know. I'll never know exactly how he lived his life the past uh, 12 years before we got him. Um, so I coaxed him out with some treats and instantly got him in uh, the sink, cleaned him up, got him all cleaned up, disinfected everything in my sink and around the area. I've been busy. I got all my little uh, runners that I have on the floor for the boys so they don't slip. Those are all getting washed, clean the floors, steam clean. It's been a crazy busy morning. <laughs> this is not, this is totally from simplified life. Uh, when you have seven dogs, that's why I want to simplify my life because when you have seven dogs and two cats to take care of, stuff like that's going to happen every now and then. And if I can make other things easier on me, when something like that happens where it's taken my whole morning to feel like I've cleaned this house enough because he was laying in that and then walking on my floor. So I've had to scrub everything. I'm finally I'm getting the rest of the rugs washed. I've finally got everything cleaned where I feel comfortable about it. And he's cleaned as well. So yeah, it's been a crazy morning. It's a crazy morning, but that's when you have animals that happens sometimes. They have messes. So you do what you got to do and you still love on them and you can't be mad at them for it because they're just they're just dogs and they don't know what's going on and like I said I don't know how he um, was taken care of um, the past 12 years of his life right Grant you didn't mean to do that did you no you did it no so all right guys I'm going to <laughs> try and relax the rest of the days the rest of the day um, after this crazy morning and crazy night of reading comments. So I hope that clears um, things up for everyone um, who may have been wondering. Um, and I'm going to get going and finish cleaning rugs and um, spend some time with the boys. It's about it's almost 2 o'clock right now. So most of my day has been wasted. And I was thinking, well, maybe I should bring one dog, but I just, I don't feel like it now. <laughs> I'm just drained from cleaning, which I'm still cleaning. Got to get the rugs done. Um, and just drained from thinking about all the negativity that I read last night. So I'm going to spend the rest of my day being positive, thinking good thoughts, playing with the boys, and, get, and, and enjoying the rest of my night. So I hope you guys are having a great day. And we will see you guys again in the next week. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. I can't stop. I've got to share some mail I got. So let me go get it, and I'll be right back. Hold on, guys. All right, guys, let me share these couple pieces of mail I got. Please excuse the washing machine if you can hear it, but I had to throw another load of um, rugs in. I've got... Oh, let me move it around here. I've got... A bunch of rugs hanging up my chairs um hanging dry because I can't dry them in my washing machine or my dryer because the rubber on the back of the rugs will get stuck and it stops the drum from turning around so I've got to hang dry them so okay first thing I wanted to share was a card I got from Lizzie and family and she made this card with her sweet Dexter on the cover and then a picture inside uh, she says she's away at university studying geology and she's away from Dexter and likes watching our videos when she's missing him so Dexter is very handsome I would miss him too and it doesn't have a return address but it says Royal Air Mail um, so I'm assuming maybe the United Kingdom England I don't I, I'm not totally for sure but thank you so much for the card Lizzie and then I had gotten a little note in the mail from Juanita letting me know I had a package coming from 
Dr. Mercola that she ordered for me. And she got the boys two packages of these jackrabbit, my camera's shaking because Mickey just came barreling out here when he heard me uh, with the package. Um, Jack rabbit jerky and a bag of wild boar jerky. This must be, I've never seen either kind of these jerkies at any pet store I've ever been in. So it must be something as exclusive to get on this. Uh, it's Dr. Mercola. Uh, Mercola.com, I believe is what it is. I don't know if you have to put the doctor on there too. Um, so if you want to check out any of these treats um, online, that's where you can get them. And also in the package came a free calendar. So I thought that was kind of nice. You get a little free calendar when you order something for 2021. So, um, so thank you guys so much for the mail. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate any of you, um, uh, sending us letters and pictures of your pets. I really appreciate it. I enjoy it so much. So that brings me to, I also want to mention, I have an email. I'm going to put it here on the screen. It's always in the uh, description box under every video and my PO box is under um, in the description box of every video too. So even though I'm going to be closing down my two social medias, um, you can always email me anytime. It may take me a minute to get back to you. So if it's something that you need to answer too quickly, something about your dog's health or anything, contact your vet, not me. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> must be a squirrel or somebody walking by. Uh, so my email is always available to get a hold of me. And of course, commenting on the videos, I don't respond to every comment. It would take me forever. <laughs> um, uh, and our PO box is always in the description box below. So you can always get a hold of me, even though I'm going to be closing down those social media accounts. Um, like I said, they may be up for quite a while still. I just won't be posting on them. So, all right, guys, until the next video. Bye.